P.O. Box 20, BBC Television, London, W126BP. And now for the moment steam fans have been waiting for. It's all about a locomotive called the 532 Blue Peter, not named after the programme, by the way. The loco's working life ended shortly after Blue Peter started. The engine has been in retirement for many years, and it's also starred on Blue Peter before. The 532 is an A2 class Pacific locomotive, built in 1948 and named after the racehorse that won the 1939 Derby. This rare film shows Blue Peter in service on the Waterloo Exeter line, although her final years were spent in Scotland. Retired in 1966, she was badly neglected when Blue Peter presenter Peter Purvis visited her for the first time. At York, a place was found for Blue Peter on an empty siding. She was filthy and dilapidated still, but at least she was saved from the breaker's yard. When I first saw her, she still had her British Rail number, 60532. But the state of the outside was nothing to what I found when I managed to get the smoke door open. The door itself didn't look too bad, but lying out in a field completely unprotected meant that Blue Peter had become a mass of rust. Even the old ashen clinker was still waiting to be cleaned out. She was rescued by a preservation group led by Jeff Jury. It was very rusty, with an awful lot of it missing. All the nice copper pipes had been taken, and uh, she looked very sad and forlorn. And she was indeed literally waiting for the scrap man's torch. The Blue Peter Locomotive Society worked for two years to restore her. And then, on the 22nd of November, 1970, John Noakes, Peter Purvis and Valerie Singleton joined 60,000 others for the renaming ceremony. The big moment had come and I pulled the golden cord. One hundred and twenty miles later, the 532 Blue Peter arrived at Tisley. Not a single thing had gone wrong. The gaskets had held and she'd arrived on time, ready to go on show at the Birmingham Steam Museum. Years of storage and idleness followed at Walton Colliery and Dinting Railway Centre until another major restoration was urgently needed. The North Eastern Locomotive Preservation Group took charge using the ICI works at Wilton. And that's where Mark Curry caught up with her and the group's leader, Maurice Burns. Oh, yeah. See, see the rust on here? See the buckling? Yeah. Caused by the heat of the fire smoke box, which is about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. That's what's caused the, the buckling of the plate. So how much does something like this cost? Well, to restore, about 55,000 pounds. Really? In, in is that the whole train or just the boiler? That's the boiler, the, the motion, the mechanical parts, the cylinders, the valve gear, the whole lot. 55,000 pounds to restore. Morris planned a complete overhaul, and this is how they did it. There's about 50 members in the group, and it took quite a bit longer than they thought. On the 11th of December, just over 21 years since the last renaming ceremony, Blue Peter Locomotive 60532 was as good as ever and ready to be renamed again. The Blue Peter programme is very honoured to be here to see all the hard work that's been done by the North Eastern Locomotive Preservation Group. And I'm sure everybody here will agree that they've done an extremely good job. We'd also, we'd also like to say thank you to ICI and the people at Wilton for giving Blue Peter a home and giving expert advice and help while restoration was going on. It has taken five years of very hard work, but it looks fantastic. 
So thank you again for everybody involved in the project. And now for the moment that I and all Blue Peas fans have been waiting for. So let's see if I can get this right. Yo, Blue Peter. going far, just 300 metres along the siding, but it was a proud moment for the volunteers. We're all mad, really. We're all like engines, I think men, machines are one of those things. Although Blue Peter had been restored once before, she hadn't pulled a passenger train since she retired from British Railways over 25 years ago. Enter the North Yorkshire Moors Railway and a twice daily run along an 18 mile track from Gromont to Pickering. There's something about steam. I like it, but when the start starts up and they make a noise and when, when they're moving. I like when it's well, at least a bit of cars. I like the noise that's going along. And, and I like the train of the, where the big thing goes round and the wheels. It's different. Always an advantage, either. Not too fast. You can just see out the window, and, and if, if you see it going like going fast into cities, you know you, you don't see anything really. When it's going through the countryside, it looks like it belongs there. They're old and interesting. Blast from the past. I love, I love this run. It's great, you know, all, all the moors and all, all the scenery on the way. It's, it's, you can't beat it. It's great. And if the volunteers have their way, there'll be many more excursions on other lines in the years to come. The steam grows on you, really. It grows on you. And uh, when you get involved with steam and you maintain it, make it work, it's a marvellous experience to see it actually working like it is today. I have to say, before I saw the 532 Blue Peter, I wasn't really into trains, but now, a bit hooked. Yeah, <laughs> locomotives, aliens charging, horsemen. What a fun start to the new year. It looks like being a great year for Blue Peter in 1992, so don't you dare miss it. Every Monday and Thursday, live on Children's BBC at five past five. Next Monday, there's going to be something different. How to take a Jaguar to the dentist, and that's the animal, not the car. Have you noticed how quiet it's got? Mm.